In this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this composite inspired by the Star Wars series The Mandalorian. So after I watched The Mandalorian when it first came out, I really wanted to create a composite related to this series. But I kept delaying this project up until recently. And now that I finally did it, I'm gonna show you guys how I created it from scratch, step by step, in this composite breakdown video. So as I always do when I'm working on a composite, I start with a rough sketch to illustrate my idea and place my images on canvas to see if they are gonna work together and the overall lighting and perspective is matching. Once I'm happy with the composition, I start working on the real project. So the document size for this composite was 4200 by 2300 and I started with the sky by adding a solid color and I chose a dark orange color. Then I added the sun which is a rounded rectangle with a bright yellowish color. Then added a gradient overlay transitioning from dark to light orange to create the illusion of the sunlight in the center. And I also added a drop shadow, an outer glow and an inner glow to the shape layer to enhance that sunlight. After that I started creating the mountings of the foreground and I dropped an image of a mountain on a sunset. Changed the blending mode to multiply and masked the edges with the layer mask. Next I added two images of mountains, removed the background with the layer mask, then matched the luminosity with the levels adjustment layer and the color with the color balance adjustment layer. It's time to add some clouds to the sky, so I found this image of clouds on a sunset and removing the background of this image can be a little bit tricky, so the easiest way was to use blend if to remove the background and I flipped it vertically and placed it at the bottom and behind the mountains. And I also made two more copies of it, placed them at different positions flipped them and changed their shape a little bit with liquify. I added even more cloud images to the canvas and I used the exact same technique to remove the background. And after that I matched the lighting and color with levels and color balance adjustment layers. Now that light coming from the sun was not enough and the next thing I did was paint more light at the front in multiple layers with a soft brush, chose a bright orange color and the layers were set to soft light and screen blending modes. So now it's time to add some TIE Fighters and I found this image of a front facing 3D render of a TIE Fighter which is exactly what I needed. I removed the background with a layer mask, copied it two times and changed their scale. So now to match them with the background I added a dramatic levels adjustment layer to match the luminosity, a hue saturation to match color and then added some blur. And of course the exact same thing for the other ones but the luminosity and the blur values are a little bit different because they are further away in the background. Ok now that the background is done let's add the characters of the foreground. So I used this image of the Mandalorian then removed the background and unfortunately the bottom part was missing so I found this image of a high quality action figure and I blended the two images together with a layer mask. Added the cape and the bottom part of the gun, fixed some areas with the clone stamp tool and then matched the luminosity with the levels adjustment layer. Next I added the image of Baby Yoda, removed the background and I also swapped the head from another image and blended the two images together with the layer mask and the levels adjustment layer. Now because the background of this image was black I could not mask the image without losing the hair. So I created a custom brush and painted the hair manually. Ok so to match it with the background I added a color balance adjustment layer, a hue saturation adjustment layer to enhance the light at the top, used the exact same technique to paint some lighting effect with a soft brush set to screen blending mode and finally another hue saturation adjustment layer and I painted some rim light at the edges. So for the Mandalorian I fixed the luminosity with multiple levels adjustment layers, added a lot more red and yellow with a color balance adjustment layer, a hue saturation after that to desaturate the image a little bit 
and I started fixing the highlights in the front with the clone stamp tool and a levels adjustment layer. So after that I started painting some lighting effects and rim light with the multiple hue saturation adjustment layers and in orange solid color set to screen blending mode. And now that I've done all of that, the last finishing touches I did was painting more lighting effects at the top, then added some noise to help blend the images together, and then a curves adjustment layer and darkened the edges to bring the focus to the center. And finally I added some sharpening and typed in some text in the background. Alright, so that's how I made this composite. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do let me know if you learned something new in the comments below. And if you have some suggesting for the next composite breakdown video, make sure to write it in the comments section. Also make sure to enroll in my free Photoshop compositing course. You will find the link in the description below. And if you are ready to take your Photoshop compositing skills to the next level, check out my courses at retouchstudio.com where I go in depth teaching all my skills I have learned over the years. And by doing so, you'll be supporting the channel and help me keep posting more videos for you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.